You're watching OU Football with Jason Kersey. I'm Mike Sherman, and we're talking about Bob Stoops' unique position. That is, that for the first time since Garrett Hartley was striking the ball for the Sooners, Stoops enters the season with a kicker he can count on. Here, to Jason, the kicker is Michael Honeycutt. Talk about what Michael Honeycutt can and should do for the Sooners this year. Well, Michael Honeycutt last year came in uh, in the third game and really provided a lot of stability at that position. He only missed two field goals all year, made a long of 53, which is up there on the uh, ranking of the Sooners longest field goals ever. He, they're finally coming in really for the first time like, uh, since Garrett Hartley with a, with a guy they can really depend on uh, in that position. And that's gonna, I think that's going to do a lot of good things because with Jimmy Stevens, he was really good from the short range and, and from the long range, you, you know, they didn't even throw him out there. They tried a whole bunch of different people um, from long range. And from middle range, he, he was really inconsistent. So uh, they had to get into the red zone. And now I think there's a little bit uh, less pressure on the, on the offense uh, because they can rely on a, a, a guy coming back, a, a solid kicker. And, and Michael Honeycutt did really well last year as a freshman. Also, he did pretty well. They move up the, the, the kickoffs five yards, which means his, you know, part of his problem was the uh, kickoffs, and still got Patty O'Hare to, to do those, but Michael Honeycutt gains that benefit. But most of all, the Sooners offense, uh, there's questions on the offensive line now that Ben Habern uh, is out, Tyler Evans is hurt, there's questions at wide receiver, and then Landry Jones is back there, the, the one guy you can count on, but the offense around him is a question mark. Yet OU's offense now has other scoring options what games do you think, as you looked at the season, what games do you think that will really have a huge impact? Well, one that I would look at is Texas because Texas has so many question marks at quarterback. You know they have a great defense, and, and OU's offense is all of a sudden brought into, into some question. So I could, I could easily see that game being a 21 to 17, 20 to, uh, you know, 17 to 14 type of game where a field goal really would come, uh, could make a, a very big difference. I, I think. Texas is the game I would look at, at least early in the season. Thanks, Jason. That's all for this edition of uh, OU Football with Jason Kersey. But you can stay with the best coverage team anywhere. Every day at News OK and every morning in Oklahoma.